90% of runaway and homeless children are from fatherless homes, 32 times the national average. 85% of all youths in the prison system come from fatherless homes, 20 times the average. 80% of rapists with severe anger issues originate from fatherless homes, 14 times the average. 75% of children or teenagers in chemical abuse treatment centres come from fatherless homes, 10 times the average. I could keep going with the statistics that undoubtedly prove the true impact of fatherlessness and at the same time proves why anybody who is pro-feminism or anything to do with it is completely selfish and absolutely self-centered. And so this is the real impact of fatherlessness on men. The basic premise is that boys who grow up without a father grow up without being able to function in society due to not being properly disciplined. And although the statistics for the video that I'm using comes from fatherless homes, a father who is completely absent is only a little worse than a father who say is not present, emotionally absent, distant, cold, deadbeat or very feminine. Because the main problem of fatherlessness isn't the lack of presence or a parent in the child's life. It's the lack of discipline, understanding boundaries, understanding what is important in life, learning how to do hard things and understanding correct morals. So it makes it very clear and understandable why a young man who doesn't have these things would absolutely not be able to function in society correctly, all while being prone to violence, illegal activities, casual sex and harmful activities. And the main message of this video is that your children will become merely another statistic if you become absent in any way or are overly feminine and will nearly 100% become another statistic if you are completely absent. And I will put on screen the exact statistics that prove the true extent of fatherlessness and you can go ahead pause it to read all of them. And those exact figures are taken from children who are in Generation Z, which stems from 1997 to 2012, and children who are in Generation Alpha, which stems from 2013 to the mid-2020s. And I bring that up because there has been a very clear downwards trend of the quality of people with every new generation that comes around. Because everybody used to complain about how millennials are on their phone all the time, and then Generation Z came around, and they complain about whatever and then they're going to complain about other stuff like when it comes to generation alpha and the problems that they're complaining about will likely become worse and worse and so it means that the preceding generation in which your children are probably going to be born in is going to be even worse which means that when it's time for you to find a woman that you absolutely love marry her and have children with her and you are not present emotionally absent distant cold deadbeat feminine or absolutely completely absent. It means that your future children are 32 times more likely to run away from home. That is 3,200%. And likely find a man who is strong, masculine and a fatherly role model to latch on to, even if he is completely toxic. Your future children are 10 times more likely to abuse drugs or alcohol. That is 1,000% than if you were a good father. Your future sons are 14 times more likely to become rapists with severe anger issues. That is 1,400%. And your future daughters have up to 71% chance to give birth while they're still teenagers. From a man who isn't likely to be her future husband, and to a man who likely doesn't even love her. And to top it off, your children are five times more likely to kill themselves if you don't behave like a good father. So all in all, it means that the world will continue to suffer because young adults run away from home develop behavioural disorders, abuse drugs, commit rape, have teenage pregnancies and commit suicide. On top of all of the suffering that you and your future wife will have to go through because all of this pain and suffering that is going on is because of your own children. And all because you thought it was okay to waste time, not do the hard work, play video games, keep numbing your brain with stupid brainless content, keep watching porn, not be mindful, binge on junk food and not even try to improve yourself as much as you can. You honestly hold so much responsibility with your Johnson because you have to ensure that you will be the absolute best father that you can when it comes time to being a father and not be a father who raises children who try to run away from home, abuse drugs or attempt suicide. It's quite frightening to think about but I very easily could have became another statistic because although I do have a father, he is a very weak and feminine man. And on top of that, he was away for the majority of my childhood, which left my mother to be the disciplinarian 
and because of that and a few other factors, she was left resentful with the entire world and took it out on me. Which left me with no strong father figure and no role model for me to look up to who could lead me down a correct path in life. Which meant that I latched on to and tried to be like any man that I liked most at the time and wanted to be like. With all the positives, negatives and personal preferences and everything. And honestly, if it wasn't for my stubbornness and pure resentment for school and employed jobs, I honestly would not know where I would have ended up in life. So I really hope this video wakes you up and gives you yet another reason to do the work that you know you need to do and to stray away from the bad habits that everybody's so attracted to do. Because your future children will depend on you to take care of them properly and raise them in such a way that will benefit them. And you will of course take amazing care of them because you don't want them to become yet another statistic of children who come from homes with emotionally absent or completely absent fathers. Because you know exactly the damage that it would cause if you were doing the right thing as a father. And everything that I've said in this video gives yet another clear cut reason why traditionalism is so important and should be the norm for everybody and why feminism is such a selfish and deluded thing that only harms people. Because feminists and strong women are going to say that they don't need a man, they can raise a, f they can raise a child all by themselves and that men are useless and whatever and then ra try to raise a child and then the child grew up not being able to function in society because although the mother did try to discipline them, they had no strong father figure and every man needs a strong masculine role model to look up to so that they can be helped and be taken through the first few steps of going down a correct path in life. And the single strong and independent mother will think that she's taken fantastic care of her child because she has a babysitter to look after her child when she's away to work. So the child is getting constant attention and isn't being neglected and it's all okay. But if you want for your child to grow up in the best way possible so they can function in society, make meaningful relationships and not fall into degeneracy, you're going to at least want a good babysitter who isn't going to do bad things and give them trauma. So you're likely going to hire uh, at least like middle-aged woman who likely has children of her own because then that proves that she knows how to take care of children. Sure, that sounds good, but that babysitter has to neglect her own children to look after this independent woman child. And the babysitter needs to go because she's probably from a low-income background and she quite desperately needs the money. So with this one independent woman trying to look after her one child, she has to hire a babysitter to look after that child, but her child is still not going to grow up in the best way possible because they have no role model and their actual mother is barely seen because she's always away to work and the child spends most of his time with its babysitter. And then the babysitter's children are also neglected because their mother has to work for this independent, strong, successful woman just so they can get by. So at the very minimum, it means that at least two children are going to grow up not reaching their potential because of how they were raised. All of the facts and figures that I've used in this video will be linked in the description. And to end this video on a good note, I will put on screen the facts when a father is actively and constantly engaging with his children. Put in enough time and attention because that will make anything into reality.